people and we're back at it with some more atomic uh John X here again and let's that is a sound I don't like to hear as soon as I start up the episode as you can tell last episode we couldn't get no shotgun ammo but we got plenty of pistol ammo and I don't know why I built pistol ammo because he already had some in the storage anyway but it it works. I'm not gonna complain. I'm just glad we was finally able to beat a boss on Armageddon. Even though it was probably the easiest boss I've ever faced. I shouldn't be getting out beaten by this puzzle. Easy puzzle. They got difficult, more difficult then. I think they got more prongs on them. But yeah, that's, that's another puzzle down there. Um, I'm scared to go any further there. That looks absolutely terrifying. But I need the loot, so I'm going to do that. Okay, no loot. Oh, wait. We've been here. This is the third floor where we killed some enemies. Yeah, I know where we are here. So my bet is you enjoy the show? That is set. I'm generally terrified of that thing. No, I didn't enjoy the show. Cheers and goodbye. You're in bad Major reviews P3. on I'm waiting for Trust you in the Pilot. Pavlov complex. Bye. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using but a car to move between the, the research field. complexes. There was a surge of sprout ah. activity on the surface. Hey, if I get a car, brilliant, because I hate mutants. Right. being overrun in this game. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No, Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? The no, he like, didn't have anything on it. P3 out. That's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do! Is that... I mean, I don't know if I saved it, but... I, yeah, I had to save it. What a I'll thing to come out to. Give me a car. Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. Hey, Zena. Hey, hey, I definitely Zena. had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally Seven got that bastard there. Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, yeah, huh? Well, I did. Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you exactly. worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. <sighs> Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. Oh, I ain't fighting you. Way, I ain't fighting oh, you. You didn't you. have to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov. Why is everyone obsessed with gold rings? Why is a lot of the rings? Granny Zena. The truck didn't have anything on it. Oh, that's okay. You can go away. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. I ain't fighting. I'm not fighting, I'm just Why getting through this place. My comrade Major. Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me. Even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers? Why would a civilian Dropa have a damn railgun? Or an owl a machine gun? The signs are everywhere. Just like you said, different perspectives. Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially since your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. 
Listen to this recording. What duty what are you referring to, yeah, yeah. Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water? To my profound oh, chagrin, this. I failed to pay sufficient attention to the phrase, robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. But it's clear that Molotov was speaking literally. Oh, look at that. So I can't save it. And look at all those enemies over there. Robots had a combat <sighs> the Atomic Heart Project. Petrov wasn't lying. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. So what are you going to do now? Think. Just run away from robots. What I've been doing for Charles, the last why does 20 hours of gameplay. So bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even Collective after the launch. Especially not Collective after the launch. For Collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not Where's be that? able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens in the world. Just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, comrade major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head. Not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. Please select the desired. Pre Storage. Oh, I do have some shotgun ammo. I just have to go and gonna go with my pistol for now. Wait, we got a car. Yeah, boy! What have I just done? Well, we did have a car. Let's get back in this car. Can I repair the car? Because I kind of ruined the car. Ah! Let's go, let's go, drive, drive, drive. Don't look back, don't look back. Don't look back in anger, I heard you say. The trough, that sick shit. Ah, the, I didn't even know the car was blowing up. He could have given me a. <laughs> I'll record again. In the car. Don't even focus on them. Just drive. Just drive. Just drive. And not crash like I am doing. Like an idiot. Just drive, 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 drive. No, 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 no. Drive, drive, the drive. That sick shithead. That fucking tree. Oh my god, lover. the driving mechanics Screw is him. so painful. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. Oh my god, the driving oh, mechanics the are painful. Plant what is this? could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell Whoa. did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. 
Oh, uh, not a flash! I feel bad for I all those people. Wolf, I stayed in the service after the war to Go stop this plush. kind of thing from oh, happening no. again. How do I get out? A plush. Why does plush have to exist? I ain't fighting no plush. I ain't fighting plush. It ain't happening. I can't stand plush. Get in the car! I've already been spotted. What a joke that is. Drive! Shut up and drive! 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 Oh, I'm an idiot. How do I get out? I'm so screwed, I have to go across. Oh, I'm so screwed now. Petrov, that sick to be shit honest, the driving mechanics are great lover. anyway. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts Screw mutate. Him. I highly doubt that Screw Petrov him. had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder. I am fighting you close. have seen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads have been killed plush. twice. First there by the robots, is, then plush. by me. Just like, speaking, to change the action coming. cannot be justified. I hate you so much. I hate you Fuck so Petrov, much, Bush. I feel bad for all I those people. I hate you so, so I much. I stayed in the service after the war to Go stop away. this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest okay. condolences for all that has transpired, that Comrade that Major. Well, no, that's behind me. I'm not looking back. I'm not looking back. I'm not looking back. I need to look back. Nah, that's fine. Do it my way. Ah, that'll save me as well. Yeah, I can jump into that. Yeah, I didn't get me there. Get me up here then, boys! Oh. Oh, another plush! There's two Charles, plushes! No force somebody into collective, right? Go Petrol away! That. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? I'm not fighting you, plush. I'm not a member of collective. How can I am not fighting you, plush. Quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. It isn't happening. The robot identifies you as a I'm human. I'm not having it. You are not wearing a thought device. You're right behind me, but I'm ignoring you. commands from you in response to its queries. If I can't see so you, you can't So it realizes I'm not in collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's gotta be more to yeah, it than that. So many enemies, and that is the nightmare one, because that is gonna mess up my stuff. Rush, just go away! Can't save because the on me. Charles, the on me. The against our civilian robots. Keep going. So many Most robots on me. The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they Still don't have any hard it. evidence. They don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. Oh, you can see that me. is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted but to show I'm just going to keep running. I'm just going to keep Fine. running. I'm just going to keep running. Don't know that. Why is cheats? So cheats. what are the sanctions for? The American government is using oh. the sanctions to Goal. find the real ground between Goal. the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American workers just want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs and the Capitalists want to get more get free robots away. so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. 
I hate you. So the sanctions remain. Oh, because we're a little, little plushy, plush, plush, plush. <sighs> oh, because we're a little plushy, plush, 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 plush. You have to go all the way back. And I do as well. I hate plush so much. What do you think you're playing at? Do you really think you're going to go far? Do you really think you're really going to do much? Or you just a little rocket launcher thing? Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't bother hitting me with your little launchers. I'm out of here. Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Bye, why pushy. the hell did he do it? That took so me. many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. And now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. Still Charles, no one this can one force somebody legs. into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. You not entirely. Of the pushes. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can collective find what out about do? me? What do I do? It's still on me. It's still on me. You dare kill me here. identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? It's it's no yes. point, but die. I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? Oh, that push, that push is stressing sure. me out badly. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can Still be taken off and put back Still on there. without Trotted on behind. There's got to be more to it. to go away. Charles, the U.S. is constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions. Get me now, pushy, push, push. Ain't no yeah, getting me now. It's the little pushy. about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Oh, no. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the... Right? He wanted to show the world that our that city bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the well, workers. The more restrictions free. they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located yeah, in key it. parts of the American government when collective launches. So the Soviet government wants there to oh, be as that. many of our civilian robots in the I U.S. as it. possible when I they ate it. combat. I ate it. They're They'll all here. Yeah. it that much easier I ate to take it over so the country. Much. I hate Bush so much. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as... So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over There's the no country. There's no save point. I got it. No save point. It makes sense. 
Ugh. I can hear it. Oh, go away! What is this problem? It's not even a robot, it's just a little freak. Let me in. It's still behind me, isn't it? It's still behind me. It's still behind me. Oh. Whoa. Oh, is it hitting me? Oh, is it hitting me? Oh! It's getting me through walls. Really? Look at that for a bug. It's there! Oh, my... I hate it so much. I hate it so much. I'm sorry. I don't want to do this, but I'm doing this. You want to do this? You want to play, Flush? You want to play? You want to play with a big boss? Okay, you, oh. you want to play with a big boss, Flush? Let's play with a big boys. You stress me out enough. I hate you so much. I'm going to enjoy this Flush, Flush, Flush. Wanna play with the big boys? You gotta get hit with the big boys, the big boys. You wanna play? I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. It's a strong word, but why does this thing have to be in the game? Why do you have to be in the game? You're on the easiest difficulty, you just die. Bro, man, people, this is the easiest difficulty with Flush. You think I'm doing that thing on any other difficulty? Yeah, good luck with that. It's gonna hit me through the wall. It's gonna hit me through the wall. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Shit, boom! I hate that so much. Now let's revert difficulty. There ain't no way I'm ever doing plush and I'm a game. It ain't happening. Not without sufficient weaponry. Saharov oh, hello. didn't die, Kamri. Saharov lives. What? Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an assistant professor from AOC. It matters not. Saharov lives. Assassins of Creed. So long. Don't know what 79 means. Maybe it's his name. Maybe it's his number. Maybe it's both. Autolysis starts approximately seven to ten minutes after death, followed by defecation in three minutes. What are you doing? I'm counting. Counting. Everything has to be thoroughly calculated. Precision matters. <sighs> Observation in detail is the key to success. I am a scientist. I must spend every moment examining and cataloging nature's phenomena. Comrade, do you know many people capable of documenting the decomposition of their own body? What's the point, you can What? <laughs> Fine. I'll go get my notepad. Oh, cut off or cough. You made me lose my concentration. Let's start again. Well, let's be honest. We could all say this plush. He sat down by your bed like he was He's annoying. And then he just stayed that way. We're the ones who need help now. My God. But you're right. Those shots were shit. They were supposed to help, but now I've got five people from the same collective farm on my hands. Trust me. Something's. Something is Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, non Chalamet? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will, of course, be required. 
But what then? What about after humans reach the red planet? You mean they breed animals from Mars here? Among other things, yes. Earth. Please select the desired procedure. My side. My side is on fire. Hurry. Hurry! Call the nurse already! We need shotgun shells. We need shotgun shells bad. I'm gonna have to. Thank you for my shotgun shells. I've made it to the infirmary and what we're on here, we're on 25 minutes in. Let's find out what time. We... That is where this episode is going to end. It's a short episode, not very productive at all, but that is where this one is going to end, unfortunately. But if you did enjoy, it was very stressful. Plush is a joke. Don't forget to comment, leave a like, turn on your notifications, drop a subscription, and we'll see you in the next one.